Welcome back to another episode of Baxter's Buzz. This is the Mindfulness Monday edition. Um, welcome to my brain. Welcome to my frequency. Enter at your own risk. Today I have my Mon Mindfulness Monday partner, uh, the founder of Thrive and Shine LLC, Sharonda Simmons. Hello, Sharonda. Hey, Baxter. Hey, good to see you. Welcome back. Thank uh, you. Or I heard it in, in an interview that if you want to be successful, that you can't be afraid to look silly. Mm -hmm. When when I first started um, playing basketball um, as a young young kid, I just I didn't understand that there were like. You had to play defense and offense. I just wanted to shoot the ball. Uh, <laughs> you didn't think there was anything else. I'm like, eh, you know, that's somebody else's job, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then there was something that sort of clicked. And I remember like the first time that uh, there was like a loose ball and I actually like dove on the floor. It was like something I had never done. And I just, and I, and I realized like, um, all like the cool stuff was like out the window and like what was most important uh. was like that ball, right? To get that ball, to get another possession, to get another opportunity, right? To like win the game ultimately. And um, why do you think that people are so um, afraid to get uncomfortable, especially when it comes to even things like their own success? Why are people yeah. afraid to look silly? Oh, that's such a good point. I feel like this resonates with me on a personal level. <laughs> like, you're all good by business. Uh, struck I a think, chord. Sorry about that. Well, you did. You struck a chord. I think that we get really concerned with what other people think. So we are naturally like meant to be connected but I think sometimes we don't have great boundaries when it comes to those connections. And so we can be really like over consumed with other people's perception of us or with patterns that we haven't seen before. So for instance, like we might be you know, in high school, like the cool kids, I can't look, you know, a certain way in front of the cool kids. And so I have to act like I'm not as smart in the subject as I may be or as gifted. Or it could be something deeper in terms of thinking about like generational issues in your family. Oh, I've never seen anyone be an entrepreneur. I've never seen anyone be a business owner. And so because I've never seen it, how will people perceive me when I'm the first person to do it? Or you don't have the roadmap. And I think that sometimes people think that a process has to equal perfection. Well, the process is just a, a process. Like when a baby is learning how to walk and crawl, they look silly, like they fall, but we think it's cute. Like no one ever goes like, darn you little baby for, you know, stumbling and right. falling. But that's what it is for any human being when we're doing something new. Like we are bound to stumble a little bit. We're bound to look silly. We're bound to make mistakes. And if it's going to get us, like you said, to that overall purpose, yeah. we've got to have a little bit of humility and being yeah. okay with it not being perfect. But some people, I think, pause because they're waiting for perfection. So I'm not going to start the business. I'm not going to go back to school. I'm not going to apply for this promotion because I don't think I have all of my ducks in a row. When part of it is you won't even understand what you need to have until you start doing it. And so mm -hmm. like the way you struck a court was thinking about it from like a business standpoint. So, you know, I'm still very new in a sense to starting my own business. So I've been doing coaching consulting for a long time, but this season of doing it as a full-time business owner is like totally different. Right. And so getting advice from you or other people, I'm like, oh, I could do it this way. Oh, it took me two hours to, <laughs> to learn how to do this thing or to sign up for this platform. Sure. Is Part of it is like a humbling process and having to be comfortable with being uncomfortable like any yeah. kind of growth just like an adolescent growth spurt means that you are going to have to be uncomfortable and so I think part of what prohibits people from 
sometimes moving into their own goals or accomplishments is it's the perception of other people mm-hmm. and what they'll think about them. Or sometimes it's the perception you have of yourself. It's thinking about perfectionism that you have to be perfect or it's that unwillingness to be uncomfortable, which yeah. all of that is essential to growth. Patience, discomfort, yes. other people maybe not understanding where you are, all of those things for any sort of like big goal move are yeah. all a part of the equation, but you can't escape them. Yeah. But I think like you talked about with that basketball analogy, it's having the bigger goal and the bigger purpose in mind though. Yeah. So um, um, one of the books that I'm reading, it's uh, called Motivation Manifesto. Oh, I've heard of that. And I want to read a quote that I just snapped um, from here a couple of evenings ago. It talks about fear. Mm. And it says, fear is the human motive of aversion. Okay, it doesn't help us commit to higher aims it doesn't help us imagine greatness its sole aim is immediate release from threat strain or pain it often becomes a by all means necessary approach to controlling any given situation so that the body but most often the ego can feel safe and unchallenged I There's so like, many things that came up. I, so, so when it comes to ego, when, I don't know, studying biology maybe, I, for whatever reason, we, we equate ego to like this bravado, yeah. right? And ego is so much more than that. Like ego knows, the ego knows us better than anyone. And so it may appear as like bravado, but it's really fear many times. 